You know, every once in a while you get into a weather conundrum. Tim, you're going to appreciate this, okay? I have two minutes and 30 seconds to tell you the weather. Sometimes there is so much weather that you could go for five minutes and 30 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? Sometimes they say you have two minutes and 30 seconds to do the weather, and there is so little weather to talk about, you could barely fill a minute of time. This is one of those days, but we're going to make day, and these are, the, these are the easy days, even in the winter, when it's uh, just crystal clear. It's going to be clear and cold back to you, Lynn and Tim. You just saw clear skies on that satellite photo. A couple passing fair weather high clouds meandering by. Really, that is about it, but I do want you to understand, we're in artificial time here, so your daytime high really is, is 3 o'clock and a little bit after. Around the Bellway right now, we're in the very low 60s, 57, 58 degrees in uh, Jarrettsville, uh, Aberdeen, uh, Manchester, and Eldersburg. 61 past Adena, 57 out in Thermont, though it's uh, 61 degrees right now here on TV Hill. Now, through the afternoon, I do want you to note, we are going to get a little bit breezy coming at us out of the, uh, generally speaking, out of the west. Uh, so if it, if it feels like a little bit of a March winds, bring April showers, bring May flowers. Well, that is the, easily the scenario. This big dome of high pressure is running our weather right now. But look out to the west. We've we got a whole lot of energy, and it's going to move our way. And the forecast is indeed going to be deteriorating. I am starting the future cast Wednesday. Let's go ahead and jump to Wednesday. Today, tomorrow, no, tomorrow a little backdoor front is going to come through. It's dry. No rain, not even any bump in temperatures. Let's all go on to Wednesday, and I want you to note there will be some showers around moving in from the west. And then once we get into Thursday, we're really going to amp up the chance of showers moving our way. And it's very possible a coastal event does form late Thursday or maybe early Friday. Look at this big slug of moisture. Thursday night, 9 p.m. So this is something we're going to have to watch. And as we move beyond today and tomorrow, you're not going to be seeing numbers like this, unfortunately. We'll peak out today in the low 70s. A couple car thermometers even could get slightly warmer overnight. We stay in the very gentle mid-40s. Enjoy it while we have it. It's not going to last long. Seven-day forecast coming up shortly. Tim?